Okay, hi everybody, it's Heidi Barrett again. I'm going to show you the making of that vanilla lavender soap with the cameo embeds that I painted yesterday. Here they are, all. they're all dry. Very sturdy, very touchable, nothing comes off. Ready to go. I apologize, I'm not going to be able to show you my actually dumping things in because I poured everything into my normal bucket that I use and it was so full that I thought I might overflow if I tried to blend it. So. I'm going to go ahead and blend this up. This is kind of a light trace. My bowl is um, racking, which makes everything an extra adventure. But, so well. I am not going to wait to mix my fragrance oil in. I'm just going to go ahead and dump it. Hopefully it's going to be fine. I've not used this particular one before, but I, I don't think I read anything bad about it. So, And in my fragrance oil, I have my kaolin clay for my batch, and I let that soak for a while while I'm getting everything ready before I dump it in. And that kaolin has a chance to absorb some of the smell. Still had a very light trace. The slab mold I'm pouring in, I always tend to um, get to too much of a trace, and then I am stuck with it not being flat on the top. And my goal today is to have a nice smooth top. I'm doing two colors. Sorry if you can't see my pouring off camera. The color is supposed to discolor to kind of a dark tan, so I'm hoping that I can do a swirl with some brown and a purple, and that purple will discolor to kind of a burgundy-ish purple, or a, a deep purple, um, just because I kind of wanted to have purple to go with this. All right. There is that bucket. So, into the little bucket, I'm going to add this is mocha brown from Nurture Soap. I'm going to say it's about a teaspoon and a half. And into this one, I'm going to put Pow Pow Purple from Mad Micah's, and that's the one I'm hoping will this color. And that is probably a teaspoon and a half. I might end up putting more in there. So go ahead and mix this one. Scrape this off as much as I care to. Use a little stir. Grab another spatula. Give that a good stir. It does smell nice. It's I don't normally like musky type smells, and that vanilla is kind of a little bit of musk to it, but not too bad. So, make some space here for my mold. Right. Um, I bought 
this mold because um, the woman at Yellow Cottage Silvery had it and I was lured by her use of it. And I do like it quite a bit. I do not have the problems that she had getting it out. I'm not sure if it's a recipe problem, but um, not to say her recipe is bad or if it's just a recipe difference. Like I said, I do use the sodium lactate and I do um, have a good water discount. So it could just be a recipe difference. Plus I do use the milk. I know she uses cream um, and the aloe. So, but anyway, long story short, I don't usually have trouble uh, unmolding from here and I will try and add a link to the mold. I'm pouring a layer in here first. I have also got this little and I'm going to do it off camera, unfortunately. I'm going to try to make a little sample mold with my soaps. And um, I want to do a, uh, like a sampler pack of the soaps. And have one of um, maybe five or six different kinds of soap in it. As I, uh, in time together, pretty for the holidays for a gift set. Either, I don't know if I'll do it for teachers or if I'm going to sell them or whatnot. But... Um, I started out a few months ago just making a, a little sample batch with every batch that I was making, and I really enjoyed it. I do have um, one customer who, uh, she gives away the sample size bars as uh, gift cards, or not gift cards, business cards. And so that's kind of fun. Every once in a while she... Uh, will be ordering, or is ordering, um, a few mini loaves of a different smell, and we cut them into half inch size bars, and stick her business information, and the, obviously my information, and the ingredients on, and uh, that's kind of a fun thing for her, and different kind of sets her apart from everybody else, I'm just pouring that little side loaf right now. And here we go, some more of this purple. So I'm just going to this for the top. <clears throat> and the rest of the brown. Staying nice and fluid, so I should hopefully get even bars out of here. I had a problem when I first started using it. I did my soap a little bit differently and had trouble with my batter setting up so much that I got some bars that were an inch deep and some bars that were an inch and a half deep. And I have a difficulty selling them that way because for some reason or other, my customer base has a hard time grasping that soap is sold by the ounce and that a bigger bar costs more money. So that was trouble, no problem. So it's nice to have the tricks of this down to be able to get mostly even bars. So I'm not having people thinking that they're getting gypped or whatever. I swear I've never scraped containers so much as when I started soaping. Okay, I'm going to move this little one out of the way. I'm going to give this a little wiggle. I do not subscribe to the philosophy that you need to slam your mold on the ground for the bowls to get out. Alright, now, let's see what to do here. I'm going to give this a little bit of a chopstick sort, I think.
I would like to have a little bit of a kind of a not quite paisley but a, like a light swirl on the top so I have some this is that matte gold mica that I used to paint the embeds with and I have that going on here it's not going to be very much once I swirl it in and the other thing I have to go on here is I did want a little bit of a brighter purple so if that other one discolors I do have a lighter purple on the top When you do a mica swirl like this on a slab mold, um, it's kind of cool because when you put the dividers in, it slides all the uh, mica down the sides of the bars and they get this really kind of cool marble look along the sides. So there's that. And now I'm going to swirl this up. Kind of going for that marbly look that you would have like behind some pretty paisley or one of those drop paintings. All right, now I can take my divider and stick it in there and. I always think it's interesting when you put the divider in how much the bars move upward and grow in size from where they are when you pour them in. painters here today and my dogs are flipping out again if it wasn't the painters they were flipping out they'd flip out something else I'm taking my gloves off because um, my gloves don't fit my fingers well and then I end up with gloves on the tips of my fingers that got all soap then I get soap on my embeds There you go. Um, I apologize again for my dogs. It's the painters. But I wanted to let you all see what I was doing. Have a good day. Bye.